And welcome back to lovely sunny Cork this Friday morning. It is time for breakfast. While most people might be having their cereal this morning, we have something a little more exotic on the menu. Of course, we are beside the sea, so it's seafood. And Brian Murray from the Glass Curtain Restaurant here in Cork is serving up uh, a beautiful dish this morning. Brian, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for the, such a great welcome we have here in Cork. So, what's on the menu, chef? So, this morning I'm doing a little bit of squid, some baby squid, uh, with a aubergine puree, some grilled leeks, baby leeks, and a little pickled lemon. And that's it, very simple dish. Okay. So, I'm just gonna start with the squid first. We've just cleaned it off. Um, I have the tentacles separate. And it's, as you can see, they're really small baby squid, so that you're sure they're gonna be really tender. I'm just gonna season it. I've marinated it in a little olive oil, rosemary, garlic. And so you want that to be kind of sizzling. Okay, and we're doing everything on this griddle pan we're this morning. We're doing pretty this much everything on the with. griddle, yeah. Um, in the restaurant, we've got like a, a charcoal grill, an oven. So I would use that, obviously, if you have, or you can use a barbecue outside. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's nice and hot. All right, so they won't take too long. Then, now, how long is the squid going to take? I would say about three minutes, two to three minutes. Okay. If you have it hot enough, it'll be super fast. So basically. similar enough to cooking prawns, perhaps. Cooking prawns, yeah, exactly. Like the longer they are left on there, it's going to get a little bit tougher and can get a bit chewy. So sometimes squid can have a bad name, but that's just because it's overcooked generally. Is that it? Because that's a lot of people often, go, oh, no, yeah. that's too chewy. Mm -hmm. I must ask, is there a difference between squid and calamari? Um, technically not really. They are, you will see calamari a lot on the menu, like uh, deep fried. So it's basically just the squid tubes sliced on in rounds, like little rings, battered and fried. But technically, they're interchangeable. Right. With calamari. Okay. Now you have some, are they leeks on the go with it as well? So yeah, I've got some baby leeks here from Kilbrack Farm, just up in Donrail there. This supply is a lot of veg and stuff. Um, so I've just really simply just a little olive oil and salt and grilled them. Um, then we've got the aubergine for the aubergine purees here. Basically, real simple preparation. We normally put it straight on the charcoal, but obviously you can use your, your gas burner at home. Um, you just prod a bunch of holes in it, so you don't, uh, otherwise it's going to be kind of exploding. You don't want aubergine exploding around the kitchen. That just allows the steam to escape while it's grilling. And you just go straight on your gas, like that, about five minutes. And as you see, it'll just start to blacken, start to burn all over. The skin will get almost a bit crispy, and it's steaming from the inside out, and then you're Next result is you'll, you'll peel it, and that's what goes into our puree. So it's real smoky, adds a real creamy, creamy kind of element to it all. Mm. So a Middle Eastern flavor or sense Eastern to how you're flavor, doing this? Yeah, yeah. Um, normally, again, they put it straight on charcoal to grill it, to finish it. But uh, you can do it like this. It's perfectly nice at home. And as you see there now, these guys are nice oh, color. Coloring up lovely. They're essentially practically practically ready now okay and then with the puree so you've peeled it and mm -hmm. uh, I think you've showed us how it looks yeah once so you've done all that finished result um, I've used olive oil lemon juice a little bit of tahina paste which is a sesame paste sesame puree white sesame puree a um, little cumin and coriander again classic kind of Middle Eastern flavors and I have some squid ink in there you can actually get these in little sachets, or sometimes you'll get them out of the squid that you buy yourself. It's not necessary, it kind of makes it black and it adds a little bit of a kind of a salinity to it, you know? Does it bring flavor or is it more it just for the color? as well, yeah. so it adds, it's a little bit salty and briny kind of, so it adds a nice flavor. I'm actually gonna just pull this aside now because we're pretty much ready on that. Done. And like you say, any longer and that's gonna become chewy. And that's chewy. gonna start to get chewy. And then I'm just gonna, Finish it with a little lemon juice. And put that on everything. Oh, lovely. So and would I've, this be a main dish on the menu in the glass curtain? Uh, it could be like one of our small plates or something mm -hmm. like that. We'll do something similar to this. And then I've just got a little bit of picked herbs, which I'm just going to mix in. And they're going to kind of wilt 
on to it all. Great. Well, let's plate it up. And while you're doing that, just tell us a little bit about the restaurant. Uh, it's relatively new, but there's a great history to where you're based. Yeah. So we opened in 2019, December. So we've been open and closed. Closed more than open, but, you know, we've been on and off. Um, but the building itself has a huge food history locally and nationally almost all around Munster and everything. Mm. Um, it was the Thompson's Bakery. So they were operating from around 1824, I think it is, until 1974, the mid-70s. Um, they were like the biggest employer in Munster at one time. So it's great, we get a lot of people coming into the restaurant who, you know, their grandparents were involved in it or their parents or they were all from all walks of life, like, you know. Steeped in history so and of course. It's lovely to have the bit of history there, yeah. has this fine food culture Good and time. reputation. Yeah. And uh, you're f part of that and flying the flag for that as well. Hopefully, yeah, and hopefully time to come. So I've just got some pickled lemons here as well. Sliced them really thin oh, and lovely. a little uh, vinegar and sugar. So they'll add a little kind of a little bitterness and a little spice. Okay, and, and you have a little bit of... We've got a little Korean chili flakes. Korean chili. Well, I am going to get stuck color. into that as my breakfast in just a moment. Uh, good luck with the reopening next week. Yep. We wish you and all your staff at the Glass Curtain uh, all the very best. That looks absolutely delicious and simply done by the brilliant Brian Murray. Brian, thank you very much. Cheers. Right, from Cork, it's back to Dublin, and then we are heading to Tokyo for the opening ceremony as the Olympics get set to begin. We'll see you after the break.